What is up, my Planet Coaster friends? Johnny Five Live here. We are back with another episode of Park Spotlight, and today is going to be a big one. We were doing some mini parks just before this, uh, so I felt like we needed to make up for it with a massive park, one of these uh, big giant episodes. So we're looking at Wombat World, created by Combat Wombat. So there it is. Stay tuned, and let's check it out. So this is another uh, submission sent in it's, uh, by James. He says, hello. First of all, I love the channel. Well, thank you so much, James. That means a lot to me. Uh, I just completed my Planet Coaster Sandbox Park, and I was wondering if you would like to spotlight it on your channel. Link to the Steam Workshop page. It took me between two and 300 hours to make. There are 16 different roller coasters, two water rides, two track monorail, uh, a track car ride, and a ton of flat rides. All buildings I made myself, except for some of the ATMs, which are standard Planet Coaster ATM buildings, and a few of the Pirate Village shops first aid which were modified versions of the in-game pirate buildings the theming of the park is kind of mixed uh, a western area fantasy medieval area pirate village area sci-fi area and some random mix in area in the middle yes most of the roller coasters look best at night or early morning except for the inverted coaster it has a waterfall as the main part and the scenery and the water effects seem to bug out at dark that is true have a nice day and keep up the awesome work on your channel thank you so much for the kind words james i really appreciate it and thank you for your submission now, I do have a little bit of an issue with this one, so let's jump into it real quick. Actually, wait. Steam Workshop, everybody. Here's Wombat World Combat Wombat's Workshop. Links will be down in the description, as always. Come rate it, favorite it, subscribe to it, and all that good stuff. All right, now let's jump into it. So, the one issue I had, there was like 6,000 people in this park. And um, this is one of the mega builds. Like, probably the biggest park we've ever seen on this channel, guys. It's end-to-end-end -end -end packed absolutely crazy let's take a look at this at daytime now there was six thousand people in the park i see he wanted it to be set to 10 a.m okay we're gonna go to 12 p.m so six thousand people in the park on a crazy packed park i was probably getting like five frames a second and i have a pretty strong computer guys um, I've this is the first park that I've ever dropped to the lowest quality settings minus anti-aliasing because that stuff drives me nuts um, so it looks like kind of poopy, um, but it's the only way we can get through it. And it was, it was running so bad that I was actually contemplating not doing it, but I want to do a mega park. So we're going to do it. We're going to have to bear with the, the bad graphics. I limited to the park's guests to a thousand. I had to kick out everybody, um, and do all that rigmarole. So here we are. We're finally set up. And, um, I think he wanted us to review the park at 7 a.m. So let's do that. So a bird's eye view. It's absolutely insane. As you guys can see here, um, we're going to get lost in here. And because of the frame rate issues, I don't want to spend it a whole hour in here, but we might end up actually hitting an hour just riding the coasters alone. Um, so I think most of it, we're going to have to really just, uh, experience from the coasters themselves, but we will do uh, a walk around. I'm just, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to have to go a little bit faster today because this is literally the biggest park and big parks in the past that were half the size of this have taken an hour. And, um, because of the frame rate, it might not be as an enjoyable experience. So we have a main plaza area here. Yeah, we're just going to get lost if we walk through all these paths. I think, wow, some castles. This is absolutely insane. Now, my recommendation for everybody is mega parks are awesome, but I'd say wait a year until the game has been optimized further. Graphic card, new graphics cards have been released. New Intel i8 processors or i9s or whatever's in the works are out um, and all that stuff. Once computers get a little bit of a hardware upgrade, and this game gets optimized a little bit further, I think it'll become the new standard to create these uh, massive megalithic parks. But right now, uh, I would say try to keep things a little bit quaint. You can still make these big parks with like eight to 10 coasters and you know, two, 3,000 guests. Um, but I, I don't recommend going end to end on the map. Stick, excuse me, stick to something like uh, terrain based. Make a really nice terrain and then work around that. and you know, separate your sections of your park and, uh, you know, try to get it manageable. But this is beautiful nonetheless. It's just unfortunate that, uh, you know, even the best computers in the world would not be able to run this at 30 FPS. Uh, sometimes my FPS is just tanking here to like five. This is absolutely insane. Some, some areas are all right. 
the Lost River. Got a River Rapids ride in there. So this is like the pirate theme area. It looks really nice. See, like this whole area here could be a pirate park with 3,000 guests, uh, beautifully decorated on altered graphics. And we would get a lot more enjoyment reviewing your pirate park, reviewing your sci-fi park. And, you know, you guys get what I'm saying. You get what I'm saying. Three different parks would be much better than one megalithic park. Roar. I am just going to kind of, like, wander around. I'm going to do things differently today. We're just going to get lost. I'm not going to try and, like, backtrack and figure out where I came from. We're literally just going to get lost. I want to go down here because it looks like sci-fi. Indeed it is. UFO. So there's a flying ship up there. This is uh, really crazy. Really crazy. Power plants. Yeah, we're just going to zip on through, get a little bit lost. Uh, we're going to be missing lots of details. I don't want this to be a three hour recording, guys. And we want to ultimately experience all the coasters. And each of the coasters are going to be in their own areas. So we're going to be able to see those areas a little bit clearer as we ride each one of these coasters. Um, maybe even a, a trip on the monorail will help us get a tour of the park. I think that would be a good idea. I mean, I'm almost thinking we should just jump on the monorail right now and let that do the job. And I could be like, ladies and gentlemen, off to the right here, you see uh, Western Land. And to the left here, we have a sci-fi area. And now we are going to be embarking into the Car Caribbean land. And we are back at the park central. All right. Ha-ha! So we did a loop. Oh, my God. Okay, we did pass through this area. We kind of went around here. So we're missing out on the whole back half here. Let's take another look through here. Um. Yeah, this is absolutely... Oh, no, we did come through here. Okay, so... Maybe we zipped through it faster than I thought. I mean, we did miss a lot of, like, alleyways and nooks and stuff. Let's give this uh, monorail a go. Let's just jump on one of these. Let's see how this goes. We'll go at two times speed, and we'll just kind of zip through the park a little bit here. Very cool stations here. Speed this up. Rome. I don't quite know my whole Planko yet, guys. So it looks like there's two monorails, which is kind of unique. One goes right and one goes left, or you know what I'm saying. Forward and back. It's a good idea. I mean, we're 10 minutes in already. We haven't gotten on a single coaster. Some really cool boarding stations. I kind of feel bad, guys, because I'm like, I'm skipping a lot of details. But that's the nature of these mega parks. The less you do, the more time we get to spend on it. The more you do, the less time we get to spend on it. It's as simple as that. I, I kind of refuse to make my videos go any longer than an hour. And uh, part two videos just don't work on YouTube. I mean, unless you're doing like a whole series, that's different. Like a 20 part series. But usually when you cut a video in half, Unless you're PewDiePie, it just doesn't work. And I don't even think he does that. I wouldn't know, though. This is a really cool station. I really love how you've made all your own custom boarding stations for all the monorails. Um, I am enjoying that quite a bit. And I can appreciate the effort gone into that. Because that's what we did for Yeti Land. Alright, I think we're getting back to the station where we started at. I think this was it. So very cool indeed. That's a little look at the monorail going across the whole park. 
Uh, there's a whole hidden back section over here. There's some crazy stuff going on over here. Some sci-fi futuristic city craziness all under construction. It's like some futuristic Mars world or something. Very cool indeed. Um, I think we should just start riding coasters, guys. Why not? I'm probably going to miss a few. Hopefully not. Let's just start with this one. The dragon flight. Okay, it's a kitty ride. We're going to have to go in track view so the dragon head doesn't get in our way. Hopefully the frame rate's okay on the coasters. Speed this up. Frame rate's still taking a dive, isn't it? It's a bit unfortunate. It's alright. It's not too bad. I'm pretty sure you can't upload 60 FPS to YouTube unless you're like, uh, you have like a, a silver play button or something. I can't remember how it works. Or maybe that's Twitch streaming. I don't know. But I, I usually do, I think I do my videos in 30 FPS because it saves on memory and a lot of different things. Very nice. That's a fun little uh, dragon kitty coaster. Takes you on quite the little tour there. Uh, let's do a wooden coaster. You guys know I love wooden coasters. We got one going up the lift right now. Forgot to check the ratings. I should probably do that. I'm so sad that the lighting looks terrible right now. Low graphics. Right, this one's running really nicely. Oh, jinxing it. Very nice. Very smooth coaster. I like it. Well done. That's a good wooden coaster. Good stuff. So this one got a 5.3 excitement, 3.5 fear, and a 0.65 nausea. The little kitty coaster we just rode was a 3.2 excitement, 2.1 fear, and uh, or 2.21, and then um, 0.2 nausea. All right. Uh, what's this? Let's give this a go. Excitement rate. This is a Sea Beast. What did he name the wooden coaster? Kingmaker. So the Sea Beast is a 5 excitement, 3.5 fear, and a 0.7 nausea. Let's give this guy a go. Here we go. Oh boy. Love the theming around here. Past the river rapids. It's a little lumpy. Ooh. 
Ooh. A Kraken cave. This is nice. Oh. Nice triggered event there. Frame rate's tanking. Ooh. See, in the email he said he built all these buildings himself, majority, and uh, I feel kind of bad because I can really appreciate all custom buildings in a custom park, and we're sort of negating them or ignoring them and not spending the time to look at it all and enjoy it all based off of the pure amount of it. So it's, it's almost like you, you did yourself a disservice by making, like, I mean... If you uploaded these as blueprints, there you go. Then you can at least reuse them again in the future. But as of right now, we have to look at everything on low detail and go as quickly as possible because there's just so much of it. But what there, what is here is amazing. And I really, I mean, this is something you guys are gonna, if you have good enough computers, open up for yourself and really spend a few hours looking at everything. But we just, we just don't have a few hours. So. Uh, we'll do the river rapids, I suppose. I'll, I'll speed it up, though. We just have so many things to cover. Very nice. I like it. Good lighting. Oh, it's tanking. Very nice. I think we missed a bit of it. Maybe. We we missed this first little bit here because we started about there. So, very good, nonetheless. I like it. Um, let's just like a rapid fire review today, guys. Already twenty minutes in, and we haven't even made a dent. Uh, I'm scrambling here. Let's go on the Venom. We got one leaving right now. It's one of these winged coasters hanging off the side of the track. Really awesome. We're gonna have to put up with the hands because I do want to hang off the side of the track. You can't get that same effect in track view. So, it is what it is. Wow, look at the view of the park there. That is beautiful. And it holds us. Look at all those skulls. Oh, nice. How come I can't hear the people screaming? Is that part of low graphics? Is low audio as well? That's really odd. Really like the theming. You got lots of mist and green lights. Really feels venomous and toxic. Really like this one. Coaster rides really smooth. Really good job. Some good triggered events on this one as well. Short and sweet. That's a overall a really good ride. Let's see the ratings. 6.2, 4.3, and a 1.4. Very good ratings indeed. Good job. Desert Thunder. Whoa, this one goes around the whole freaking park. Yes, let's do that. A 7 Excitement, a 5 Fear, and a 2 Nausea. Let's... Is this the boarding station? Seems like it. Desert Thunder. 
Oh, it's a Sprint 500. Awesome. Let's get this thing going. I hear it. We're ready. Get ready to sprint across the whole park. Some good triggered events here. Oh, boy. We might have to do track view. Sorry, guys. Those hands are going to drive me nuts. Holy crap. This is so rad. Oh my god, it's going so fast. Wow. This is incredible. Oh. This is all from just that one launch? insane oh good googly moogly wait it's not done oh my god holy crap oh boy this is insane Wow, we oh! just enough light to see where we're going. Oh, that is nice. Holy smokes! Oh. That is one of the longest, fastest coasters we have seen on this channel yet, out of like 70 various spotlights. Oh, well done. Truly impressed by that one. Really loved it. Got great ratings. Look at that thing. What a beast. We should almost save the best for last, but it's kind of good we did that because um, that really upped my energy levels. I'm super excited after that. Wow, that was a lot of fun. I almost ride, ride it again. Seriously, I want to just do it again. <sighs> I'll have to watch the footage. I will watch the footage and rewind. Great stuff. Red Giant, almost a nine excitement. Holy crap. I never even seen something get that high, ever. Wow, let's get on this. It's leaving right now. This I'm excited for. Wow, look at this lift. Should we go in seat view? Everybody complains about something, so we'll do seat view for some of you guys. Oh! This is crazy. All the construction. Oh, look at that. Wow. Oh my god. Through the building, that's awesome. Oh, whoa. Oh my god. That is so cool. How tightly packed everything is. Warning. 
Wow, this one feels very long as well. Good job. I didn't expect it to be this crazy. Wow. Oh, what is this? Underground? Amazing. Holy crap. This is insane. Oh. I can see why I got a nine excitement. That is insane. We've never seen a nine yet. That's really hard to do. I didn't expect it to be that crazy. I wasn't really looking at the track clearly. It still felt longer than it looks. Wow. I think I like that one more than the Sprinter one. Just because it's so tightly packed. It has more theming going on. Uh, yeah. Wow. Back to back. Two awesome coasters. The other coasters were good too. But these ones were just insane. Really good job. Uh, I think you should focus on making smaller parks in the future so we can run them at high graphics because you, you obviously can make some pretty cool coasters, man. I feel like we're getting spoiled today. Meteor. Oh, that sounds fun. A 7.5 excitement and a 5 fear for 4.6 fear. Um, rounding these numbers off, guys. Whoa. Another good stat coaster. So I can't find the boarding station. Oh, here it is. This little thing. All right, let's go. Seat. Yes, we'll sit beside them. So their arms don't get in the way. Through the meteor, guys. It's an interesting barrel roll. Chaos and fire everywhere. Another really fun coaster. Good stuff. I was just thinking as we were on that, how you really put a lot of effort and theming into each one of these sections, and your computer must have been tanking along the way, unless you got like some kind of supernova computer. Um, I don't know how you stayed motivated throughout the whole process of building this. In like. If my frames started dipping while working on something, I'd be like, all right, it's time to wrap it up. And I would try to find a way to uh, cut corners, I guess. But you really did this end to end. And while it's a beautiful, insane creation, part of me just wishes I could run it better and look at it closer. It's definitely worth taking a look at if you download it and take a better look at it for yourself. And hopefully when I get a supercomputer one day, in a year or two when computers are even better I'll have to come back to this one I think and look at it in its full glory at ultra detail all right we got more coasters guys this one looks also insane hangman's revenge look at this boarding station built into the side of the mountain like this really good job at your blueprints I hope you, I hopefully you saved a lot of these blueprints off um, I'd like to see you build some mini parks for sure Okay, let's do this one. It's a hanging coaster. Or is this is this the station? That's not the station. This is the station. Let's get on it. We're going to do track view for this one. It just broke down. Maybe not. It's letting us go. Quickly. Pass a little cruise ship. And up the lift, 
Chrome. Here we go. Well, that's interesting. Oh, wow. Whoa. Oh, look at that. Little bump upside down. Nice effects. Wow. Nice spark screw, very smooth. Oh, again, another really good coaster. I, I love that one spot. Ah, my camera, what's happening to me? Oh my God, I really like this part where it does this like upside down twister into a drop. The door opens up and there's water there to surprise you. That was really cool. This also got a good rating, six, a four and a 1.6, beautiful. Really well done. Impressive. Now this one I'm really excited about here. What is this? The Terror Train. 6.5, 4.5, and a 1.3. Again, really good stats. We gotta do track view for this. Because it's a hybrid coaster and it's gonna sound amazing. Here we go. Go fast forward. This is a long one. Oh boy. Here we go. Oh, look at that train there. Oh, computer's tanking. We have any inversions? Oh, there we go. Barrel roll. Nice. I love it. Oh, beautiful. Really good use of lighting again. I like how he's designed this whole park for nighttime slash um, sunset or sunrise. Very cool. Another really good coaster with really good ratings. I have to say to Combat Wombat, keep doing what you're doing, but think smaller. Your coasters are great. Your designs are great. Your custom buildings are great. Everything you're doing is great. Um, just be a little bit less ambitious, which is really weird. I thought I would never, ever say that. I want to experience what you do in the future on Ultra Graphics is what I'm trying to say. So you could have easily made three parks out of this and they would have all ran phenomenally. Uh, nonetheless, though, I can't really take anything away from this because it is so epic. It really is our first ever mega park. This is the biggest park we've ever seen, ever. And you've literally filled it end to end. There's like... It's not like a single area, maybe just this over here, but there's like coasters underground and stuff. Uh, but there's pretty much not a single area that you missed, which is absolutely insane. So you obviously have a good, um, you have good patience. You have a really good design philosophy. And I think if you just do something a little bit smaller in the future 
and focus on your coasters, the terrain, the layout. Um, I'm, I'm excited to see what you do again in the future is what I'm trying to say. Um, just submit something that can run at 30 to 60 FPS and that would be fantastic. I think we're going to skip the log flume. It looks amazing, but uh, we're running late on time and I have food here now. So let me see if there's any coasters we missed. We have not done the Steel Falcon. Let's give this a go. Okay, we got one leaving right now. I think this is a rotating seat. I'm not sure. Maybe not. Maybe. Well, yeah. Let's see. We'll sit in the chair this time. Because it is a winged coaster. Nice sign here. Very nice scaffold. Great lighting again. And look at this factories down here. I didn't even notice that. Such a crazy park, truly. Again, another good coaster. You're knocking them out of the park, dude. A six, a 7.2, a 5, and a 2. Wow. And a really cool theme as well. It's got this industrious factory feel to it. Very cool indeed. Uh, I, was, I saw this from over there. Really cool ride skins for your rides as well. Like Everything is so custom made. I really wish we could spend a few hours looking at this at higher details as well. Um, this is truly incredible. You you really get park of the year in terms of mega parks. And I don't think anyone will do anything close to this just because of all the issues you run into. So good job at being patient getting through it. Um, yeah, really good stuff. Power Surge, we did not ride this. There's, it's just, everything is so compact that I, like, I literally can't see coasters. They're just like hidden. Um, this is insane. Let's do this. Okay, here we go. Holy smokes. I love the colors here. Wow, you're really knocking them out of the park again. I'm repeating myself. The themes of each one of these, this was like a power theme. Uh, what did we see back here? We like we had this like Mars almost sci-fi theme. We had like a molten core theme. Uh, we've had some jungle themes uh, with swampy toxic theme, just like a plain wooden coaster over here. Uh, we had this crazy mine shaft exploration theme. Um, a canyon cliff thingy um, and then that giant fast one that went around like a racing track that went around everything like so many good themes like nailed it I mean we get you you've you essentially you've done better on most of these coasters than you know s some coaster spotlights this is insane I mean each one of these is a coaster spotlight if you would have individually submitted all these coasters on their own map you, they would have been good enough for a spotlight, each one of them, if not better than some of the ones we've seen in the past. So, incredible, truly. Am I missing any more coasters? Diamondback. 
Oh boy. Well, let's ride it. Here we go. <clears throat> is this an American arrow? It is. So traditional corkscrew coaster. Wow, that was really awesome how it corkscrewed over the terrain like that. Really nice design there. He's thought of everything, guys. This is great. What did this one get? A 5.2. It's like his worst coaster is a 5.2. And it's just your regular plain old corkscrew coaster. Um, that's And that's not bad at all. That's saying a lot. So let's do a real recount. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Was this twelve? I think we hit them all. I think we did it. We did it. Truly incredible combat wombat. Good job once again, everybody. That is Wombat World by Combat Wombat. Uh, come check it out. Get a better look for yourself. We're at 50 minutes on this recording, maybe less if it's trimmed down. Nonetheless, we can't go any longer than this. Um, absolutely amazing work. I just want to say to the creator of this that um, shoot a little bit smaller next time. And when you submit it in the future, say, you know, I'm the guy from Combat Wombat World, the Mega Park. Just remind me and um, I'll be sure to give you a priority pass if whatever you make in the future is as cool as this i'm sure it will be your coasters are spot on your design are spot on i would love to see the scope shrunken down a little bit smaller and maybe go a little bit crazier with your terrain um something like we saw in yeah no like i love these terrain areas that you got going around the sides and um, do that and maybe come up with a new theme i don't know what you're working on but i'm excited to see it in the future at 60 fps so amazing job really loved it it's really truly our biggest park we've ever seen on this channel yet so uh, well done. I applaud you. All right, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please be sure to smash that like button. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe for more Daily Planet Coaster videos and let both me and Combat Wombat know what you guys thought of this in the comments below. Uh, all right, everybody. I hope you have a fantastic day and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye now.